I think we can all agree that the backrooms are pretty darn weird, and if there's anything weirder than a backrooms level, it's a computer-generated backrooms level. I fed an artificial intelligence the beginning of my script for my video, The First 100 Levels of the Backrooms Explained, which, uh, shameless self-promotion, go check out if you haven't, I worked a long time on it. But yeah, I fitted that script, and it sped out a bunch of bizarre backrooms levels, and quite a lot actually. I have enough material to make multiple of these videos, so if you'd like to see a part two or something, just let me know in the comments and I'll do so. But yeah, without further ado, I'm Johnny, and I'll take you through some very wacky and bizarre computer-generated backrooms levels. Let's get into it. This level appears to be an exact replica of level 12, but with some strange differences. Apart from the normal backrooms, this level also contains a giant, floating city resembling the Earth's moon. This new city was constructed in a state of chaos, and seems to house no functional infrastructure whatsoever. You can't go inside the city, as it's still infested with a great number of entities. However, once you exit the level, you'll be met with a small wooden door which will lead you to a safe zone where you'll be able to stay until the end of the level, or until you meet the end of your time. This level has two bedrooms. One is uninhabited and located at the very end of the level, which will most likely only house an entity. The other is inhabited, and the occupant seems to be a schizophrenic who's constantly high on drugs. This level is completely isolated, and the only people you will see here are other entities. Because of the lack of transportation, this is one of the best places to complete the level. This is an insane place. This level is a yellow-colored, forest-like underground area. It has trees, tunnels, and wild animals in it. There's a stream in this area, which is mostly non-vibrating. You will find a multitude of items here, as well as entities. The only safe level. This level is no joke, as it's utterly desolate and contains what appears to be a large river, a skyscraper, a megalopolis, and even a ruined temple. However, on this level there are no entities and no enemies. Those who have made it this far seem to have been protected by the forces of nature, and are immune to all forms of harm. Those who have fallen, unfortunately, have not been as lucky, and have not made it past this point. This is the most normal level we've seen so far. There is a large storage facility, containing about a half dozen large, freestanding storage rooms, each of which houses about 20 storage containers. There are also many large wooden crates in each room, although it's unknown what they actually contain. Levels 16 and 17 also have a similar aesthetic. There is a large quantity of crates, steel crates, cinder block rooms, offices, and laboratories, to name a few. In the middle of the massive level is a large complex of circular cement pillars, through which you can see and access other levels of the backrooms. Some of these pillars can be upgraded in various ways, giving you access to new floors in the backrooms. Despite having such a boring, abandoned look, this level is absolutely deadly, but contains a very high level of security, which makes it a lot safer than the others. This level is the only level that contains a completely non-suspicious entry point. This is one of the last levels on the net, and only one of a few different levels on this level. A futuristic city once occupied this land, which was long ago abandoned in the wake of humanity's death. Apparently, it is now a vast region of grass, and contains a planet inhabited by huge, unwieldy giant creatures. Those who have made it this far have apparently been miraculously transported to a solar system known as Galaxity, where human populations once flourished on large cities built into mountains, although now there is only the Lone City. This level is the Home Stretch, a deserted church with no name located in a remote area of the city with no one inside. A man-sized, white entity appears in the rafters, taunting you to come and destroy him if you have any remaining sanity. The sound of falling instruments, or what appears to be human screams, can be heard throughout the area, so stay alert at all times. And that just about wraps up our video. Let me know your favorite of these levels down in the comments. As always, I've been Johnny, and you've been awesome.